Hey everybody, welcome back to Fitness and Nutrition with Rick Gither. Um, today I want to cover cardio. Now there's lots of different ways you can do cardio. You can get up, like I've, I've said before in other videos, you can get up and you can go for a walk. You can ride the bike, you can do the treadmill. There's just a variety of them. They have classes that you can take. There's just 12 million things, like I like to say, of uh, ways to, that you can get your good cardio in. Um, but one of the most effective ways to do your cardio so that you get the most out of it is to do what's called interval or HIIT training. Now, when you do this, it's like you turn the muscle on and you go real hard for 30 seconds to a minute, and then you go easy for 30 seconds to a minute. Now, whether you're riding a, uh, whether you're riding a bike on the treadmill or you're outside running, doesn't really matter. The best way to do it, though, is to turn it on and let it relax. Now, a good way for me to describe so that you have a good understanding of it is if you look at marathon runners, they're very, very thin. They're very thin. They have very low body fat, but they look very, very thin. Now, when you look at Olympic sprinters, they have solid muscle and they are ripped out of their mind. And that's because they turn it on and then they relax and then they turn it on and they relax. So hit cardio is probably the most effective way to get a good amount of cardio in without overdoing it. You don't need to do more than 20 to 30 minutes of hit cardio. Now, you can do that on its own day or you can do it after you finish up a session at the gym. Either way, you're going to make huge advances and... That's it. So have a good day, everybody. If uh, you like my page, please like my page and subscribe. And just be conscious, not crazy. Everybody have a good day.